Yo guys, we are back for another zombies video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the die machine fully solo. Really easy to do. Really fucking easy. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first you're just going to want to stay down here. I, I recommend this spot here. Just kill all of these, obviously. Yeah, just sort of get to about round 3, get about 3, 3k points-ish. Then you can start opening doors and get through. But yeah, it's really easy. And I'd recommend getting the Raygum to go with it. You can just go look at my, I think it was my last video, or the one before the last video. And that'll show you exactly how to do that very easily. So yeah, just go watch that. Drop it a like while you're there, may as well. It did quite well, I think it's on like 100 views, which is really good. So yeah, thank you everyone for that. But yeah, I'll be back when I'm back. When I'm ready to open this next door, I'll be back. Alright, yeah, so... We'll be about ready to open the thing now. Oh yeah, also this is the knife in, go in gold, the zombie's gold. It actually looks really nice, not even going to lie. I quite like it. But yeah, we'll start heading through these doors now. So obviously crack open this door here. Straight through this door. Nice and simple. And we'll go straight through this next door. I'm going to get, yeah, I'd recommend getting this. Wait, I'll show you. I recommend getting this shotgun here. Obviously, you know, you guys know, I'll let this show you. 2k. Easy to get. We'll go get that. I liked, for this part as well, this is probably the best place to stand. Kill all the ones that come up here. Yeah, it's it's my favourite place to stand. You'll get the most amount of zombies that come spawn in here. Oh, my battery on my headset's low. Should be enough just to get through here, but... Yeah, stand up there, kill all of them that come down. And then get enough of the shotgun, which we have enough now, 2,000 obviously. So you're going to want to buy that shotty. We'll go buy that now. And then open this next door, obviously. Yeah, we'll be, you're just going to basically need to turn on power, so we'll be back when we're at power room. And if you don't know how to do that, then just watch my last video. And that'll tell you step by step how to open power and get pack a bunch of machine. Right, so... Obviously, turn the power on, go through here, and then do pack a punch. So, obviously, yeah, last video shows you exactly how to do pack a punch step by step. Uh, if you go back and watch that, and I'll be back once I've got pack a punch done. But you will most likely need that. It's just easier to get it than to not, so yeah. Get that done. And we'll be back once we've done that. Alright, and we are back. So, there is the pack a punch machine done. So once you've done that, obviously just get rid of all the zombies around you. I'm not going to bother doing the coffin dance easter egg. Because to be honest, I can't be asked, and I don't really need it. Because I'm just showing you how to do this. But you guys all know how to do that from my last video. So that's fine. So we'll just go by jug. So now what you need to do for the die machine. Is you need to wait, do the pack punch and the round after that, the big green fucker will spawn in. And he's called like Megaton or something. Not <laughs> like me. Nah, I'm joking. But wait for him to spawn in. And then you're just going to absolutely obliterate him. So whenever he comes in, I don't know where he is at the moment. He'll pull up at some point. Wait, where is he? Come on. He should be in this round, I think. Well, I'll be back when he spawns in. Just wait for him to spawn in, basically. And you're going to need to kill him. Yeah, here we go. So, you'll get this sort of, like, sound where it's saying it's observing a high radioactive activity or something like that. And you need this guy and just obliterate him. He dies really quick to this shotgun on the first round. Especially if you've got a pack punch, he'll be gone within a matter of seconds. And Regan fucking shreds him. So, yeah, kill him. He'll split in half. And now that he's split in half... Now that he's split in half, you're going to need to kill these guys. So kill the first one, obviously. And the second one that you kill is going to drop a yellow key card. You need to pick that up. So let me just get rid of him. So we'll just use that just to go straight in here. Just to try and get rid of him easy. Why can I not move? So... Where is he? There he is. So we need to kill this guy. Easily. Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. No, I'm not. I always say I'm nearly dead when I'm nowhere near dead. 
Oh shit. Oh, I'm actually dead. I'm gonna go down. Okay, I always seem to go down in these easy rounds. Just ignore it. I'll, I'll just get straight back up. I always get like cornered and just like. A yeah, so there's the first one gone. And now it's just this guy. Just get him gone. And you'll see. Wait, we'll kill all these zombies first. Right, that's easier. So yeah, he, he dies. And then he drops this key card. You pick that up. And now what you're going to want to do with it. So you can see in the bottom, the, the last one, second to last one, it says die. Pick that up. And come down here. And you're going to want to go where we go to the Pack-a-Punch machine. But instead of going over to it, at this one here, so you see this thing here. You're going to go right, straight down here, straight up. And I just call it the nuke room because it's got a big nuke in it. You go in here, and then you go here. Weapons room, weapons lab, do that. Die remote control, pick that up. And now you're going to go all the way back to where we spawned in. Just keep all these zombies alive as well because it'll make it a lot easier. So go up here and take them all back to where we spawned in. So uh, we go straight up these stairs, obviously. You, you guys are on the way. And this key card, you're going to need to bring into this door. So you can go in realistically through this door to open the power, but I don't. And wait for this. So you're going to train up a lot of zombies around here. You're going to want to do that. So train up all these zombies this round. Because it'll make it a lot easier. So I'll be back when I got a big train of them. So a train of this amount will do just fine. You're going to want to bring them all in here. And then put that on. Hold X to turn on remotely. And it will just take them up. Don't kill any. Apart from the ones that get through obviously. But don't kill any other than that. So like that guy. He got through. We can kill him. That guy. And you just want to let them all go through and just get taken out by this machine. And you'll hear it says weapon storage at max and it will just turn itself off. And now just kill the rest. Well, just leave one zombie I'd say. There we go. And if we go through to here, we go through to here and take it out, discharge it, I'll say, instead of uh, cooling down. It blows off that door, and there we go, you can pick it up. And you've got the the decompressive isotopic estrangement machine, the posh words, which is, you can kill easily with it. And so it's RT to kill on Xbox, but it's also LT if you just want to like get more ammo kind of I'll show you what I mean but I'll just train up a load and then show you how good it is because it shreds and in the next video I'll let you all know how to get the all the upgrades for it because when you get the hang of it it's a lot easier but yeah I'll just let you know on next video because it'll take too long otherwise so yeah what I mean is if you hold LT you suck them all up like that and you can see I got three ammo for that guy so if you train a load of them and just do this you get all your ammo back really quick and it just it kills them. If you're like stuck in big crowds or whatever, you just gotta throw that down and it like destroys them all really quickly. So like that, there we go, I got stuck and they're just dead. But yeah. That's pretty much how just to get the die machine. Next video I'll let you guys know how to get the all the upgrades for it. Which doesn't really take too long. But yeah, thank you all for watching and thanks for getting 100 views on the last video, that's kind of mad actually, but yeah, alright, thank you, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe what you want to, and subscribe and comment what you want to see next, cheers, see ya.